Mark Lamont Hill. Now, he is in the news right now. And Mark Lamont Hill, let me tell you, is in deep doo-doo. He got booted off CNN. Thank the Lord. Let me go ahead and clap. Uh, uh, uh. Anytime a black lefty gets kicked off CNN, I, I have to uh, clap on that one. Um, I want to go ahead and play this clip here, and I want to get your uh, take on it because I believe that uh, what he's saying um, is uh, very, very damaging, and um, a lot of people need to hear it. So let me go ahead and run it when it comes back. We'll definitely discuss this here on Conservative Nation. Here we go. CNN cut ties with contributor Mark Lamont Hill following his comments about Israel. Hill, in a Wednesday address at the United Nations, pushed for a boycott of Israel and said, We have an opportunity to not just offer solidarity in words, but to commit to political action, grassroots action, local action, and international action that will give us what justice requires. And that is a free Palestine from the river to the sea. Mediaite reports the backlash was swift, with many noting, from the river to the sea is a phrase used by Hamas and other anti-Israel terror groups. The phrase implies the replacement of Israel by a Palestine stretching from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, though Hill disputes this characterization of his comments. So, uh, Barry, he says that uh, Palestine no, problems, needs to be free is, from the river our to the sea, let me tell you. Um, and I've heard that type of uh, speech before, and it's not good. What do you think? Uh, that is actually the slogan of Hamas. The river is the Jordan River. The sea is the Mediterranean Sea. I've been to the Jordan River, and when you face the Mediterranean, everything looking towards the sea is the state of Israel. So what he's saying is, the slogan of Hamas just came out of Mark Hill's mouth at, get this, the United Nations yesterday, where he was invited, and this is a major journalist from America addressing the world saying, let's eliminate the Jewish state and replace it with one state of Palestinians who are Arabs. So I guess that means kill all the Jews. Yep. That's what he said. I was very gratified, and I told you this earlier when we spoke, that CNN did the right thing. Now, don't get me wrong, this doesn't make me a CNN fan, but sometimes even a blind squirrel finds a nut. In this case, they did the right thing. They canned him. Why? Because he's talking about mass murder with a smile on his face. The other thing he talked about, which was really horrifying, is rejecting the teachings of, get this, Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King, saying violence is necessary, you can't always be peaceful, and that's what needs to be done by the Palestinians. Holy cow, this guy is inciting a religious war, and he's doing it as a PhD, as if his scholarship justifies mass murder and literally the elimination of the Jewish people. I'm thrilled he's off CNN. I'm sad that somebody else is going to give him a place and a microphone, no different than Farrakhan that we talked about a little earlier tonight. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, uh, in Liberalville, even though he got canned from CNN, they are rooting and chanting and they are happy with his rhetoric let me tell you and it, to me his rhetoric uh in a sense was too over the top you know usually they're a little bit covert with their rhetoric about hating uh the jews and hating israel but he was he was straight up on it he would he told the truth like we need to get rid of them you know and People need to start waking up. Now, one thing I can tell you about uh, Mark Lamont Hill, he follows people like uh, Louis Farrakhan and Keith Ellison and, the, you know, th that whole crowd. He's into that. And I have a sneaking suspicion here that black folks like Mar Mark Lamont Hill 
like getting rid of like the idea of getting rid of uh you know israel and uh the whole jewish state is because uh they believe that it ties into christianity and if you get rid of christianity too you can also get rid of the white man's religion because they believe that uh white americans in this country here um and, and Israel over there they are tied and once we get rid of them over here uh, white Americans in this country will no longer quote unquote uh, have a you know a place to go look the Christians won't have a, uh, a home place anymore and by that uh, precept right there that will allow them to quote unquote uh, tear down the west and that's what I think I think this is all a plan for them to try to tear down the west and they have to get at israel and the and the jewish state there because the jewish state stands with america and um let's be honest america is keeping the world safe in a sense and so is uh israel because without israel like i said uh it'll be uh world war three over there yeah israel's on the front line jermaine uh they're the ones that get the terrorism first. Uh, they're the canary in the coal mine, as I often like to say, and that's why it's our fourth key issue at American Truth Project. Um, Israel is literally our front line of defense. Um, they work with the United States on intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, diplomatically, militarily, and we don't have one uh, army troop with an, uh, in Israel carrying a weapon to defend the Jewish state. They defend themselves quite well, unlike every other ally we seem to have in the world. <laughs> um, they, <laughs> they're out there on the front lines fighting terror for us. I, I think there was an interesting comment you made a second ago that I'd like to uh, make a comment on, mm -hmm. uh, Jermaine. You talked about Mark Lamont Hill and Farrakhan. I saw a picture today of the two of them hanging out together like they were best friends, and a comment from Lamar, uh, Lamont Hill about what a good friend and great man Farrakhan is. Look, you can't cozy up to a hater that called Hitler a great man yeah. and not believe in those precepts. If we were alive during World War II praising Hitler for his destruction of most of the civilized world, and it would have, I'm talking about in Europe, and it would have been the entire world if he had uh, more weapons and more troops, and we praised him, our fellow Americans would beat the crap out of us, yeah. uh, and rightly yeah. so. Here's a guy, Lamont Hill, praising a man who says Farrakhan was, Farrakhan obviously, who says Hitler was great, and praising Farrakhan for his values and what he believes. Let that sink into your viewers. The Palestinians don't have elections. They don't have democracy. They don't have freedom. They don't have equality. They have Sharia. Yeah. The last yeah. election in the Gaza Strip was over 10 years ago. There won't be another one. Anyone that runs, wants to run for office gets killed. The last election in the West Bank was in 05. At that time, Mahmoud Abbas was elected, and he's canceled all the elections since then, and people who want to run for office usually end up dead, or they never find the body. That's what these people believe in. Now, how in the world would anybody think that's compatible with America? We don't think like that. We think men and women ought to be equal. We think black, white, green, red, whatever the color, ought to be equal. We think everybody ought to have equal rights to vote, to own property, to possess wealth, to travel where they want, to say what they want. That's the Bill of Rights. These are people over there that would put you to death if you shot your mouth out about equal rights or equality or freedom of religion. It's literally the death penalty in certain cases. And Mark Lamont Hill is embracing someone who believes like they believe, who just went to Iran. We just talked about it a few minutes ago. Yeah. That guy, when he opened up his mouth at the UN, told you what he's really thinking. I'm shocked it was that overt. Really shocked, quite frankly. Yeah, you know, and, and um, I, I just can't <laughs> understand how uh, the liberal Jewish uh, people can even uh, stand to be Democrats. 
because any any Democrat nowadays, it seems like they have to uh, go after the Jewish state. Look at Barack Obama. Remember when um, the prime minister there, uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he was uh, in an election and Barack Obama funneled money to the opposition to try to take him out. I mean, this is the this is uh, the liberal left in our country. They hate the Jewish state. They will do whatever they can to get rid of them. If they can uh, fund the opposition to uh, get rid of Benjamin Netanyahu and, and get some other folks in there so that they can get a hold over there so they can break up that state, they will. So uh, it's incumbent on us for uh, for us to uh, stay with uh, the Jewish folks there, for us to stay. Uh, stand up with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and support his mission there to keep uh, the people safe and make sure that that country is uh, still there. You know, uh, what do you, what do you think about that? Well, I, 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 if I was with you, I'd give you a hug and a high five. Uh, I, I couldn't say it better myself, truly. Um, it's really sad that the progressive left in this country does not consider our American way, our American system, whether it's our economic system, our value system, capitalism, freedom, as the thing that has made this country special and unique since 1776. We have gotten to the point, and when I say we, uh, probably half the country, believes that uh, you shouldn't have too much money, you shouldn't have too much freedom, the government ought to tell you what to do, where to go, how to associate with people, how to speak to people, uh, where your money should be spent, and on and on and on and on and on. And countries and leaders that stand up for freedom are the ones that are attacked. You're 100% right, Jermaine. Barack Obama spent government money, U.S. government money, fighting against the Likud party yeah. and Netanyahu yeah. in the last election. And it was very public and it came out and it was obvious and he literally didn't apologize for it. And when Netanyahu was invited to come address the joint sessions of Congress, normally the President of the United States is there yeah, he and his staff up. is there. Obama wouldn't show up and pulled his whole staff out. Secretary of State, Defense, the ministers, Everybody as a show of disrespect to show Netanyahu, uh, well, you can come to the country and the Congress may like you, but I sure don't. There were all these stories, Jermaine, of when he would summon Netanyahu to the White House as an official meeting and keep him waiting out in the hall for 45 minutes or an hour. Doesn't happen to any of the world leader. Obama treated him like uh, the poor stepchild and abused him emotionally and politically for eight years. Israel is ecstatic. There's been a change uh, in governance in the United States, and ever since, obviously, Trump made the monumental decision to move the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Israel's capital, where it's been the capital of the Jewish people for 3,000 plus years. They think he's the best thing that ever happened to Israel, and Donald Trump actually might be that because he's showing friendship to a true ally who believes in the same values that we do. And quite frankly, there aren't a lot of companies, countries rather around the world, Jermaine, that think the way we should be thinking. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, and it's a shame. It's an absolute shame that we don't have uh, that many people in that many countries who think like us at all. Um, and one thing I could tell you, it makes the world a lot more dangerous knowing that fact. 